A lot of anglers prefer to have their hook uh, free swimming at the back end of the tube flies. Um, also some of the modern day tube flies call for um, the hook to be free swing as swimming because there's no room to actually place any silicon tubing because of you know beads or whatever placed at the back. So essentially the only way your hook can fish is free swimming. Um, there are a few contraptions on the market to work around this nowadays. I'm going to show you how to actually make one uh, for this very purpose. And it just utilizes uh, outer tubing. So you probably have a lot of this stuff. If you're creating some of the modern day tube flies, you probably have a lot of this stuff in your armory already. Um, it comes in a myriad of different colors. Uh, you can see there from the, the glitter tubings, but also you can buy some uh, multi-packs that come in uh, for variety different, different colours already so it saves you from buying um, a single colour a single colour pack so as you can see there so what you need to do is take your lighter to the outer tubing and I'd pick probably around 15 mil down the outer tubing to begin with and if you just take your lighter to the tubing and rotate the tubing as it heats up the tubing. When it does that, that bulb forms and then you just stretch the two apart slowly to begin with. You just see you're not losing any tubing, it's just stretching what you've melted. When you get to that stage, just hold it. Just let the tubing cool. It'll take a few seconds, um, but it's really important when you apply the, the heat that you rotate the tubing to allow an even distribution of the heat all the way around the tubing. Otherwise, what you find is that you're just melting, as you pull this, pull the two ends apart, you're just melting one side of the tube rather than the uh, melting the, the whole of the tube. And then essentially, you don't get the um, the, the hole appearing in the middle, it actually appears on one side of the tube rather than directly in the center of the tubing. So on that, that's now cooled and you're left with basically what's going to form two free swinging, swimming mounts. So what you do is you cut, you can, the modern, well actually the ones you see on the market, they would actually be clipped right up here. And you can do that and then you can just roll them a bit if you want to uh, create a, a, a rounder finish. What I tend to do is nip them a bit further back. And essentially out of one length here I'm going to get two connections. And you can vary these so it's better to leave them too long. Um, and what you know, depends on the length of the wing or the overall length of the fly. You can fish your hook further back by leaving these at different lengths. So, you know, say for a, a Red Francis tube, for example, you may want to fish it even shorter. So, you'd actually clip that even shorter again. Uh, and then the other one you can leave long. So, for example, if you're fishing a Snelder or uh, an Intruder or something, you can actually fish them a bit further back. So, what happens then is, so you get your hook, uh, be it a, a single, uh, double or a treble, yeah, whatever you fancy. I'm just going to do it here with a, a, a Nordic single. So if you get one of them, I'm just going to use some fluorocarbon here. It says 15 pounds to show it's pretty thick stuff. What you then do is you take one of these lengths, you pass it through the end of the tube that you just formed. then attach your hook and what these also do is they protect the knot so actually it stops the knot from banging against the tube so you get a double purpose out of them really and that pointy end of the tube is pretty important because actually that helps the the hook find its home at the back end of the tube as it's swinging so what you do is just pull that down and you pull 
these outer tubings are actually in, you know created so that the hooks would normally fit in the back of them anyway so actually they fit this perfect uh, purpose perfectly so you can slide that in even further if you want like so and obviously then your tube would be above here and then further up would be your uh, fly line as you can see that forms a really neat finish so I'm just gonna cut that there you gotta imagine that the tube is above it what you would then do is so say you've got your fly with a, a, you know, a bead finish at the head you'd actually just pop that that actually fits in the, the pointy end that we've just created actually fits inside the inner tubing just there so that can then swim there actually that's a little bit it's a little bit uh, soft but if you see uh, where's another one here you go so that's one I did earlier that's cooled down so it actually comes in so that pointy end actually fits inside the inner tubing so the outer tubing now fits inside the inner tubing uh, and it creates again you can fish these in all different lengths uh, according to the to the length of the fly uh, but that fits in the back of there uh, as needed so you can either do a rounded finish where it would actually just automatically just come up and sit flush with the end of the tube or as I've just demonstrated there with the the pointy ends which actually do pull up and you can actually just slightly attach it into the back end of the tube the great thing is with them you can have them in all different colors uh, and different lengths which really transforms uh, the fly you're fishing so say if you want to make a little strike point you know, you got little glitter sections put a glitter section in like that or if you want to create something a bit more dull I could put a black section in and again yeah if I was fishing that fly obviously I'd cut that way back into there uh, and again even on the longer flies say if you're fishing like a, an intruder pattern if you want that fly fishing a lot further back or the sorry the hook fishing a lot further back on the fly just find that in the tubing and you can just place that into the back of the tube get it swinging way back or again if you prefer it fishing more in the fly and more disguised in the fly uh, then you can fish a much smaller section and again just alter the color of that tubing according to the f the fly you've fished just to finish the fly off in different ways um, so yeah you can fish it you can see I've done some with like a more rounded finish and they will just pull up into the back of a fly so say a fly like that it'll just pull up as it's fishing uh, because that pointy end will find a home there it'll protect the knot uh, but will also be there so it'll be free free swimming uh, but also protect the knot so you can either fish it like that or again with the with the pointed section and the pointed section can actually just slot into there so and again it's the variety you can get all these different different shades and all the different legs uh, which essentially you can't buy so you can just create your own probably from what you've already got sitting on your desk